Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm Homestead. It is Saturday, April 29th, 2023, and uh, we just came off a week of complete rain. Uh, rain, cloudy, misty, cold wind out of the north. Bees weren't able to forage. So a lot of my hives that I don't have supers on that aren't real strong, uh, I checked a few of them after the last video and I found uh, many of them had very few stores. Uh, but I didn't worry about too much because we're coming into May and, and the heaviest part of the nectar flow. But we had that week of rain and I'm really concerned about some of them. Uh, so, so specifically this little swarm and the, the hive next to it that that swarm came from. So they had just requeened uh, hive uh, 17, the swarm uh, hive that came out of. Uh, it didn't have much food in there at all. And, and the little nuke, uh, it, it barely had a little bit in the corners of a couple of frames. So I did mix up some sugar syrup and I, I brought it down here. I'm gonna try to expand the, uh, the little nuke into a 10 frame and get a feeder in there and enclose it so the other bees can't get to it uh, without going through the hive. They won't even know it's there. And I put just a touch of Pro Health in it uh, to keep it from mold, getting moldy, but uh, it's really not enough to be a feeding stimulant. So I'm gonna do that today. And a couple people pointed out in the comments that that uh, new Swarm Queen looked like she had a mite on her back. And I went back and looked at it and it did look like that. So we need to check on that queen and make sure there's not a mite on her sucking her life out. Hopefully the attendants found that and cleaned it off of her. But uh, that hive, you know, had a brood break, so the mite load in there should be very small at this point. So we'll check her out and see how she's doing. Hopefully she's doing good. Get her in this 10 frame and get some feed on them and get them boosted up. So I'm gonna do that first. I'll probably shoot some other videos today. I'm planning on maybe doing some uh, splits on these strong hives. I'm gonna check them out because uh, they should have uh, some swarm cells in there now. I've been checking the trees, watching around, you know, I haven't seen any. But uh, this afternoon is prime swarm time after all this rain we've had, and uh, they're itching to get out of there. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that. So let's get in these two hives. And I got it, found my red pen, and I had to prime it quite a bit, got it ready. And I'm gonna try and mark these two queens as well. So let's get going. Okay, here's our two hives here. Uh, the hive on the right is a hive 17. We've got a honey super on it. It was there before, before they swarmed. And uh, got some good foraging going on here. It's a fairly strong hive, even after it swarmed. Here's a little swarm that came out of there. And I uh, see quite a few bees coming and going. I don't see pollen going in there. I'm assuming they're bringing in nectar. Let's get in there and uh, hopefully we find a healthy queen that a mite stuck to her. <laughs> okay, videoing in this location is usually kind of dicey because of the shadows, so do the best I can here. Good population up here. Wouldn't expect to see that change unless they've started out. Yeah, it looks really good. So we need to check these end frames to see how much they've got in there as far as nectar stores. So I think I see more bees than before. So probably what's going on here is uh, it had like three frames of brood. The queen was laying really nice. So I imagine some of those are emerging now. And this frame's empty. Empty there. And nothing going here, a little bit of pollen. Keeping an eye out for my queen because I want to get her marked. So I got this spot prepped right here. Got that brick sitting there in my queen catcher. So I use a queen catcher because I can't go without gloves. Uh, my bees will sting you on the hand. 
so I can't bare hand a queen. I would like to, I would rather do it that way, but uh, just not able to do it. So to find that queen, I'm going to set this frame up here, get it where I can uh, get that queen catcher on there. I think she was on this frame here last time. So yeah, a lot of that brood has emerged. You can see it coming out here. Well, there's a lot of bees on there. They're just stacked up. It's going to be difficult to find her. Still not seeing nectar. I see something interesting. So I don't see any larvae or eggs. And see that undeveloped larvae there that's kind of pulled out of a cell looks like. So they may be aborting the brood because they've got no food. That's the only one like that I see. But there's no more eggs out around the edge like she's continued to lay. But I'm also not seeing any emergency queen cells or anything like that. If that might uh, may have damaged her. Now I see her right here. There she is right there. She acts like she's wanting to lay over on this frame. Looking around. Let's uh, get her captured. So the trick is you don't want to catch her with this little sliding gate and damage her. So you wait for her to walk up on it or on the sides and then you shut it. So there we've got her right there. So now we'll get to marking her. So you want to get these attendants out of your way. Push the little plunger up until those attendants pop out. One lift. Just kind of move it up and down, so making sure you don't hurt that queen. This thing is spaced out so you can't like totally smash her, but still be careful. Get out of there. Go, go, go. There she goes. All right. So I usually take my pen and I make some uh, practice marks to get it kind of primed and wet. There we go. Got a pretty nice spot on there. And I want to get her position where I got a good, good look at that bare spot on her back. When you get her marked, pull it down fast, which I got quite a bit of ink on her. So we're going to leave her there, let that dry. I'm going to put this uh, frame back down in the hive and yeah there is uh, no nectar on this there's a little bit of bee bread out here but we'll go ahead and start transferring this into the big hive and then we'll get some uh, that sugar water on them Going back with the solid bottom board. This is a Hillco solid bottom. And our 10 frame deep box. I'll go ahead and set this in here. 
I'm going to get my another uh, deep box that's got some blank frames. So I picked up five frames from a uh, failed hive over there that I had sealed up and stored. And I want to find a nice frame that uh, has some good cells for laying. And I'm going to put that right in the middle to give that queen another frame to lay on. And then I'm going to kind of do a combination of putting these on the outside and checkering it in. So here's some pollen. I'll put that close to where the brood will be. A little bit of wax moth damage. They'll clean that up. And these are, uh, looks like three-year-old frames. They're marked 2020. Checking on our queen here. She looks good still, keeping her out of the sun. So, yeah, so these bees are fairly lethargic, they seem to be. Ouch. Had a black ant stuck. In where I got those frames and I was stomping on them one crawled up my leg feels like man that hurts ouch they can sting multiple times <laughs> it's those big old carpenter ants man it's a bumble ant okay put that one there so here's our blank one Here's a brood frame. Get this here. Tighten her up. I'm gonna put some feed right here on top of them. In fact, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this inner cover on first in case it dribbles a little bit and it doesn't drip down on that brood. Let's see, I'll do it like that. And I'm gonna turn upside down, let it drip till it slows down and then I'll set it on them sticks. There we go. That's one of those ants. And we're gonna close this off, so. Other bees can't get to it. Some old pollen patty wrapper did the trick. Okay, as you can see the setup there, put it over the hole with a couple of stick spacers. It's a little bit ran out until it uh, built up its vacuum and it's right there. So those bees will come out and they'll start feeding on that and they'll clean that up. And once they get that going in there, that's gonna revive them because they're pretty lethargic right now they are starving to death get this cover on here so there's no inner cover on top of this so there's no way bees can get in there so maybe some small ants might be able to and we'll reduce this entrance down here this hive here probably don't need that anymore Okay, let's get into uh, hive 17 and see if we can find our queen. Get her marked. And we may need to pull that super off and put some feet on here. I got a whole bucket full just in case. Real quick back on this hive here. So those forages are learning, you know, the entrance looks a little different to them. But they'll figure it out. Yeah, see they're going in there. It'll take them a while. Oh, Durr, look what we forgot. So yeah, I had her sitting on the lid. I was like, oh, <laughs> big dubby. All right, so got to lift that off and put her back in. Yeah, a lot of people comment on my channel. Uh, you show all the mistakes, we like that. So there you go. I saw that queen catcher there and I was like, why is that bee in there? Oh, that's the queen. <laughs> what sucks though is I got this liquid on here. I think what I'm gonna do, 
I'm going to just slide this forward and not have to uh, pull that out. I know y'all were screaming at the TV or your monitor. The queen's stupid! Don't forget the queen! So when you pull your little lid down, make sure your queen's not standing on it and you're like slicing her legs off. There we go. Okay, she should come out here momentarily. So they're all just kind of piling on top of her right now. Maybe coax her out by pushing the plunger forward a hair. There, I see red. They don't like that red on her. There she is. They're trying to clean it off. That worker there was trying to sting her. There she goes. Yeah, her being out for a while and that red on her back, they didn't care for that. Probably because it looks like a mite. Well, that could have went better. That did not, I was not happy with that, the way that looked. How much we can do about it now? The bad thing is there's no eggs in here, I don't think. So if they do try and supersede her, they uh, there's no way to make another queen. Let's get it put back together. Okay, let's get back over here where we were at. Let's uh, see what we got on this super as far as coverage. I don't anticipate them covering it up much because they weren't before. And there's a few bees up in here, but not much going on. Seems to be more population up here this time because some of that brood's emerging. So another thing we're going to do when we're in here, we're going to center this up. All our broods on this side or all our bees are on this side. So we'll pull at least two frames off here and move them over and scoot it over. See if our queen's up here in the top now. Well, she was in the top before, but she wasn't laying. But all her brood was in the bottom. Just a little bit of nectar. I saw one cell. So as soon as they bring any in, it gets consumed because they're all starving. This is new comb they're drawing out before all the rain. Oh, here's fresh larva. So this hive is strong enough and had enough stores to take care of their larva. This is all full of larva here as well. It's all white right in here. It's a good shot of those larva. See all the white. So the queen is basically done with this frame. She's laid it all up what she wants. So she'll probably be on this next one. Or she would be on the outsides of this one out on the edges filling those in. Which they may have eggs in them already. Hopefully we'll see her right here. I'm going to get this ready. So all this uh, up here in the top, before she was just starting to lay eggs, and now you can see it's capped larva, capped brood. Oh, there she is on the bottom of the frame. Little skinny thing. That's good, I didn't want to have to go down in the bottom. So we got her in here. We can go ahead and put this back in so we don't chill that brood. That one worker won't get out of there, so I'm just going to go for it. So
So while our queen marking is drying, I'm going to go ahead and center this up. And this is drone brood. I'm going to leave it. That's the one I pulled out initially. So we've scooted it over two frames and we'll do that in the bottom now. Release our queen now. There she goes. That one was a little more graceful than the last one. They got a lot of work to do before they get started on this super. Uh, the brood looked good. I, they got a big enough population they can bring in some nectar fast. So over here, looks like we got a little bit of robbing situation maybe going here. So I narrowed that entrance way down. So they can smell that pro health, although there's just a very little bit in there. So they can defend that little spot there and nothing can get in up here. We'll have to keep an eye on that throughout the day. Well, that's it. Uh, a little clunky here on this one here with the queen and all, but uh, I'd like to go in there and check, but with all these bees flying around, I'm not going to mess with it. We'll just let it be for now and uh, maybe check it in a day or two, make sure we didn't mess this up. And uh, this one over here went pretty smooth, got a nice uh, fast mark, got her in there. There was no issues. They, they didn't have a problem with the queen like this one over here. Over here, there was one bee acted like it was uh, trying to sting her, so that was odd. But uh, hopefully it works out. And that's the end of the video, so give me a thumbs up if you would. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. We'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.